are you in my brain? Mm. How does it feel to be influenced? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are we talking about today? Uh, what's his name? Justin Willman. Justin Willman. He's got a magic show that we watch for Valentine's Day. Ooh, the flower trick? Yeah. Justin Willman's got a new show. He's a host for Magic for Humans. There's now a Magic for Humans at home edition you can get tickets to and watch. We did the Valentine's Day shows, but there's more shows and coming up check it out we'll drop some links below but let's talk about justin woman hey what's up i'm percy this is mercy mercy is looking for a snack yeah and His dinner's still like 30 minutes away <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> welcome to the late night edition of the brand new hit critically acclaimed internationally lauded morning show <laughs> called the Nice. Where it is still, it's really like seven o'clock at night and we're filming this because it's been a weird day. We were actually on vacation. We were gonna film this in the afternoon on vacation. Vacation, vacation canceled. was canceled. <laughs> we were gone for like a day. Because there's this crazy know. storm coming in. It's too bad we didn't show them how we didn't get to do the cool background. Oh wow. The, the, oh right, mm -hmm. yeah. Well yeah, it was a nice house. It had a lot of elephants around it. it was there's a because left. pretty little elephant beautiful <laughs> and the snow was beautiful but there's a lot of dangerous snow apparently coming in so uh, no. the dog enjoyed the snow you enjoyed sledding Merce had a good time Actually, everyone had a good time uh, the first ride didn't go so well oh it didn't go <laughs> happy Monday February 15th it is something called annoy Squidward Day which is from SpongeBob SquarePants do you know SpongeBob Characters at all? I've heard of him, but I haven't no, yeah. never watched him. Yeah, I don't even really care what it's about, so moving on. <laughs> Justin Willman. That's what, who we're going to talk about today. Story of the day is Justin Willman. He is the host of Magic for Humans on Netflix, which has three seasons out right now. Why but are we, we talking about him? <laughs> because him. for Valentine's Day weekend on Saturday, we watched his show. He does a Magic for Humans home edition. What? No! No! My goodness! Oh! Who knows? Maybe you watched it too. There was like a thousand people on there. Yeah, there were a thousand families, and there were multiple shows that night. I think there were three shows on Saturday. I don't know. And so they he's doing lots of these shows. It's a live show on Zoom. What was one of your favorites? Tricks? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I think I like the... Uh, well, I don't want to spoil it. Let's not talk about the tricks. Let's not even talk about them. Because you should just check out Magic for Humans at home. The Justin Woolman, magician, but he was, for a while there, the host of Cupcake Wars. He was the original host of Cupcake Wars. I don't um, know if Cupcake Wars is still on. They may have a new host. I don't even know. Is that like a show? Yeah. Uh, I think the Food Channel? I don't know. The research so, on this thing is going downhill. So cupcakes what do I know? basically go to war? No, people people go to war making cupcakes. Maybe it's on Netflix for all I know. We watch those baking shows all the time. It's probably on Netflix. I don't know. You know what was interesting to me? No. No. Because you're not a mind reader, are you? Are you a magician? T read my thoughts. You're thinking about pizza. I'm not thinking about pizza. <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, the fact that Justin Willman, he became a magician because at 12 years old, he was trying to impress a girl by riding a bicycle while wearing rollerblades, and some sequence of events ended up leaving him with two broken arms. Oh no. So that his doctor at the time was like, in order to help your hands heal and your, your arms heal, you should start doing magic tricks, card tricks, and working with the dexterity of the cards. And that's how he discovered this joy of, for magic. The reason I bring this up is because like, this wasn't some just natural thing that he bumped into, right? He didn't like just grow up with this passion for magic, right? It took like this accidental thing to happen for him to kind of get forced to trying it out. And then when he did try it out, it still wasn't even then when he was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna become a magician. Like, it still took a, some time. Like, then he was in some magic class with a friend of his, and he realized his friend wasn't very good at magic, but he was. He was, he was kinda, he liked kinda following the directions of the trick, and he was getting it. He liked doing the magic trick. So through those things, and then even showing his parents a trick, 
he started just enjoying it more. And I, I just, I bring it up because I think a lot of people think the things that they are supposed to do are things that they just grow up passionate about. Oh, I've always been really athletic. I've always been interested in X, Y, Z. And sometimes that's just not true. Sometimes it's just a happy accident you discover this thing. If he hadn't broken his arms, maybe it would have been when not. he was 30 years old he discovered he enjoyed magic. Maybe not that happiest discover. I mean, he did yeah. break both of his arms. I mean. Yeah. 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 So I just, I think there's a lesson there about passion. Like you might find you just have to keep trying and trying and trying new things. Yeah. See, I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew you did it. Okay. <laughs> Clean yourself up, bro. Come on. This is a professional morning show. You gotta show up. Yeah. We gotta talk about how you show up for work. <laughs> um, yeah. I show up for work like, <sighs> yeah. Check what, out what, his what, show. What's this wow? I don't even know. Just his age. <laughs> Does anybody care who he's, what his old stage name used to be? Who he's Ooh, married to? It's all from Wikipedia. What's these little... the uh, stage? He used to be called Just Incredible. Like, Just Incredible. You know what it's time for. That's Joke of the Day, also known as the Cobra Pony Parkour. Here we go. <laughs> she's a really a dog, but she's a really, really a goat. But she's a really, really, really a raccoon. But she's really, really, really a blue whale. But she's really, 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 really a blue shark. Wait, does that even exist? A blue shark? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> like blue, anything else. A blue whale shark. When you call her a unicorn, you don't stop to think, is, is there really such a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Merce. Yeah, what's up? Merce, so we're talking about magic today? Yeah. Do you know what they call a magician without magic? Good question. No, I don't. Ian. The what? Ian. Ian. Ian, Merce. Ian. Yeah, a magician without magic. His name is just Ian. <laughs> I think I write that joke of a two when I don't understand it and a four when I do. Hmm. Uh, that's it, folks. If you're new here, please subscribe. Please follow the podcast. We are everywhere where podcasts are found. Kind of. We keep asking Alexa, and she can never can find it. Wait. Alexa! I couldn't find the half cat show. Did she say the half cat show? <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Yeah, yeah. Guys, this chair's not right either. Oh my gosh, come on. Look at all the chair. <laughs> I mean, look. This is the Mercy bought these chairs. I can't hear you. I mean, <laughs> it sounds like you can. Well, you just leave that chair upside down and worry about it later. This is the second chair I'm on on the video, Merce. We already ditched one chair. Now I'm going to the third chair. Can't take it. Welcome.